All right, so in the next one, we have a little bit of an interesting formula. Um, we're looking for periods, so that's capital T, but because we're looking at a, a, a physical object a system, um, we have a little bit of a complicated formula. Um, the front part of it's going to be 2 pi, and that has to do with the fact that 2 pi is a full rotation or revolution of a system. Um, in this case, means like a full cycle. Then it gets multiplied by a big square root of the mass of the object bouncing around divided by the spring constant. Okay, so um, important thing to look at here, we do specifically need the mass to be in kilograms. So this part here in grams is not going to be very nice. We want to remember kilo or K means thousand and because the thousands on the bottom, we're going to divide or shift to the left their decimal and get 0 0.12129 kilograms. From there, we're free to plug stuff in. Remember, 2 and pi are just numbers, so you should be able to find them pretty easily on the calculator. The mass is 0 0.12129 kilograms, and then the spring constant, 28.86 newtons per meter. Okay, so the kilograms are going to cancel the part of the kilograms in here. Number of newtons are kilograms times meters per second squared. Um, then the meters are going to cancel in the bottom of the meters. We get seconds squared that eventually flip around and get square rooted. <coughs> so there's a lot going on there, but we do eventually get seconds. Now, to run this through a calculator, you may have to do it in stages. You may have to put parentheses around here or just divide this part first, then take a square root and go back and multiply. Um, but however you can make it work, run that through a calculator, 0 0.4073, and then this is a time period, so seconds. <laughs> 